lease or buy, what's the best car option for you? Hey there, my name is Matt Senso and in this video, I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people are struggling with these days, whether or not to lease or buy a car. Deciding whether to lease or buy a car is a big decision and one that shouldn't be taken lightly. There are several factors to consider when making this decision, each of which will affect your financial situation so by the end of this video you should have a good idea of which option is better for you. Let's jump right in. Let's start with, what is a lease? A lease is essentially just an agreement between you and the dealership. In exchange for making monthly payments on the vehicle over an agreed upon period of time, you gain access to the car during that period. At the end of your lease term, you return the vehicle and start anew with another leased vehicle if desired. Some of the key benefits of leasing that make it such an attractive option are Low monthly payments. Leasing typically means lower monthly payments than if you were to purchase the vehicle outright. This is because you are only financing the depreciation of the vehicle over the course of your lease period rather than its full market value. No repair costs. When you are leasing a vehicle, most repairs will be taken care of by your leasing company during the term of your contract. This is because they own the car and have an interest in keeping it in good condition throughout your contract period. This can save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars in repair costs over time. Tax Advantages Leasing may also offer certain tax advantages depending on where you live and what type of vehicle you are leasing. Also, if you decide to end your lease early then there may be extra fees associated with that as well. On the other hand, buying usually requires larger monthly payments and oftentimes involves having to put down an initial down payment or trade in your old vehicle for credit towards your new purchase. Furthermore, certain models may have higher insurance rates due to their age or condition which can increase the cost of ownership even further. At the end of the day, it really depends on what works best for your lifestyle and budget. Leasing gives you access to newer models while buying gives more flexibility later on down the line but requires larger upfront costs. Make sure to weigh out all of your options before making any decisions. Research different makes and models as well as dealerships that offer fair prices and good customer service so that whichever path you choose will be right for you. Taking some time now to understand how leasing versus buying works will help ensure that whatever route you go will be rewarding in both short-term and long-term scenarios. Good luck! For more information visit lowincomeassistance.net link given in the description below.